Hello everyone, this question is about differentiation. The equation of a curve is y equals x over cos squared x. <clears throat> First quadrant, where x is a, the tangent is equal to 12. So this means we have to find the y prime or the f prime and then plug in a and we should get 12. Okay, so now to find the f prime or the y prime, we have to differentiate x over cos squared x. So to differentiate a division, here we have x on top and below. So this means we have to use the quotient rule. This is the quotient rule. The derivative of u over v is, this is actually u prime v minus v prime u all over v squared so that's the formula we are using u prime v minus v prime u all over v squared so we need to identify the u the u is x the v is cos squared x or we can say cos x squared the derivative of x is simply one so u prime is one the v is again cos squared x the v prime now if this is v to find the v prime we have to use this um, power rule we bring the power down so we have two times cos x the new power is one so this is what we get but we have to multiply by the derivative of the base so because the base is not just x the base is cos x we have to multiply by the derivative of cos x which is minus sign x so cos becomes minus sign so that's why we use minus sign x here because of the chain rule so we have u prime v prime so we can find the um, derivative so f prime of a is well we replace the x with a so this x and this x and this x and this x and this x with a and then it's supposed to be equal to 12 because that's the the gradient here gradient equal to 12 so we are solving a fraction equals 12 just multiply both sides by the denominator so we get 12 cos to the power of 4 a and then we can move this guy to the left so minus both sides and then since we are solving something equals zero we're gonna have to use multiplication somehow so here we pull out or factor out cos a so from here we factor out so basically if you multiply you're gonna get back to this if you multiply you're gonna get back to this if you multiply you go back to this also okay so we're not changing the equation so since now we have a multiplication we can solve the first factor equals zero which means cos a equals zero so the a is inverse cos zero which is pi over two okay this is rejected because if you look at the domain in the question it says here that x is between zero and one half pi including the zero but not including the one half pi that's why we don't use one half pi this is rejected now for the other factor equals zero so um so here we are trying to find or to prove or to show this so we're gonna make it a equals inverse cos something so to make a equals inverse cos something so yeah just yeah you just have to look at the goal this is the goal the goal has cos a plus 2a sine a that's why we isolate this guy here so we move this part to the right we have minus something and then we can multiply both sides by minus so cancel out all the minus and then we divide by 12 take the cube root 
and inverse cos and we get what we need to prove. Alright, I'll see you again next time.